everyone, it's Desiree and I am here with Scrappy Tail Crafts and many of the design team members uh, for Sabrina. Make sure you stay to the end. You're going to hear some wonderful giveaways as usual that Sabrina does. So make sure um, you stay, you get to the end of this video so that you can hear the rules. There's always rules. Yes. This is the stamp set that I'm going to be using. It's called Spread Your Wings and it does have coordinating dies that are sold separately. I've taken off camera, I took the time to take the butterflies. I am using all of them except the one butterfly that's on its side. And I've placed them in a pattern sense. The cardstock that I'm using is my Strathmore Mix Media Toned Gray. Now, some of you do know that when I use this paper, the colored pencils are coming out. And that is very true. Yes, it's going to happen. You can see I've set them up kind of in a C curve going towards the left, coming back down, and then I have this sentiment set there. Of course, I'm using spread your wings. Once I have, I stamp this about four or five times using my VersaFine black ink, and that's because I'm gonna be using my fine detail black from Nuvo. This is a great black to add to the uh, VersaFine black when you emboss. You can also use a clear embossing powder. I chose the black in case there was an area that I missed when it came to stamping. That embossing powder kind of fills in um, those crevices. Once this is heat set using my heat gun, I'm going to make sure that cools down before I start adding my color. What's wonderful with these designs that Sabrina drew, yes, absolutely, um, you can use any medium of your choice. I'm starting out by taking my Micron Black Pen 01, which is a very, very fine tip, and I'm coloring in the bodies of the butterflies. This is just going to put some color down in that area. There is something else that I'm going to put over that, but I didn't want to have the paper coming through. And once they're done, we are going to start using our colored pencils. The colored pencils I'm using today are my Prismacolors. And I chose two shades of every color that I'm going to use, and of course, my white. For some butterflies, I'm going to start with the lightest color. For some butterflies, I'll start with the white. It all depends on what I'm looking to have, how much color. Here, I'm starting with the lightest shade of pink. I'm staying very close <clears throat> to the corners where the wings meet the body and adding the darker shade, but not going too heavy. I'm then coming in with my white on the tips of the wings and then pulling it down onto the color. Since I am using a toned cardstock, the white helps to make the butterflies pop out. But at the same time, I wanted them to be soft. Now, always when you're, when you're filming and the lights that we use for that, um, it's going to look brighter than what it actually is. Um, but you can see the colors on the cardstock. I'm just going to continue to do the same thing. In some areas, I'm going to use the darkest color like I am here to fill in areas of the butterfly, but also use it for those uh, corners down by the body and on the other layer of the butterfly, and then coming in with that lighter tone and then the white. I am going to show all of the coloring for this panel so that you can sit back and relax and enjoy. And I'm going to turn on some music because I'm Gabby, but I, I can't get through all that. That's a long gap. <laughs> I know you'll enjoy it, and I will talk to you and get back with you on the other side. See you soon.
hope you grabbed your pencils and colored something while we got to listen to that. Now, if you'll see that butterfly right there, it's in the upper right hand side. Yep, I forgot to add the dark blue to the other side of that wing. Yep, just noticed that now. And I'm looking at the card and I noticed it there too. But that's okay. It's a shade. Yep, the sunlight's coming from the left. <laughs> I'm going to use a uh, holographic uh, mirror cardstock that's going to be one of my frames. So this mirror cardstock is going to be cut four and five, four and seven eighths <laughs> by six and seven eighths. And then I'm going to have a black mat that's going to be behind that. That'll be five by seven. So you're just going to see this small slither going around. I'm wiggling the card back and forth so that the it'll get centered onto that mirror card stock. I got it most of the way, not all the way, but that's okay. Remember, we have fun creating our art. I'm now going to use my double-sided tape for the back of this panel. And I'm just going to cut into that layer that I put up over that. And we're going to get this down onto our black panel. That will then be set onto our 5x7 card base. When you have mats like this, you don't have to add dimensions, meaning, uh, you know, foam tape underneath to give it that. With the card stocks that you're using, they're going to be adding that dimension on their own. Always check your card is facing the right way. Yes. It's funny when I don't do that. I'm going to be using my, uh, it's a black stickles, but it's got all the colors that I used mixed in with it very faintly. That's what I'm going to use up over where I used my Micron pen for the bodies of the butterfly, just to add a little bit more sparkle. So we have the color from your pencils or whatever coloring medium you used. I have the black embossing powder or clear that you could use. So you have that shiny element. And now I'm adding a glitter to the butterfly bo bodies. So you have this beautiful texture going on for this, for this card. I am also going to use the stickles for droplets all throughout instead of adding splatter. This is another way that we can do that. And I'm just going to put those all throughout. The beauty of stickles is they don't keep a dome shape. They will flatten themselves out, which I think is great. They will have some texture, um, but they just, they just don't keep that shape. I hope you enjoyed this card. I hope you enjoyed the coloring and you got some tips from that. Now, for the fun stuff, I want you to make sure to check down below in my video description. And I have all of the designers um, for this hop. So you can click on anybody that you want. Because if you've made it to me, you got through everybody else, which is awesome for the fun. So I want you to hop along. So if you started with me, make sure you go back up to the top, go through everybody's wonderful blogs or video because it is both. Make sure you leave a comment on each of the blogs and the videos that you see for a chance to win one of two $25 gift cards to Scrappy Tales. The more you comment, the better opportunities you will have to win. I just love it when Sabrina does that. She's always giving away um, wonderful gifts. This hop is going to end on April 8th, which means that's when the winners will be pulled. So the videos will always be up and the blogs will always be there. It's the, the giveaway of the two gift certificates that will be ending on April 8th at 1159 PM Eastern time. Now get ready to hop. Make sure you comment on the blog and the video. The products that I used will be listed down below also in the video description. Have any questions, make sure you leave those down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy, have fun, and be wonderfully inspired, everyone. Remember what is still most important to me, always be creative. Talk soon.